Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel once again. And once again, we got a bunch of mess going on. All right. A bunch of mess going on. I'm like, is it enough to have you, Kenya, in the lap of luxury for us fame and, and, and fortitude and prosperity and just pimping out your so-called husband, okay? Now you want to pimp out your daughter, Brooklyn Daily Girl. What the hell has she got on her head? I'm going to presume Mark didn't have nothing. Presume Mark didn't have nothing to do with this fiasco that you got your daughter out here looking crazy. Okay, you just attacking her. You just making it bad for her when she get ready to go to school and she got all these pictures. And, you know, we ain't going to even talk about Portia Wiggy child going around now with a fan. Okay, like she's some top-notch mother and she got all the money in the world and she got her daughter out here with a fan. Now, I'm going to tell you what my theory is between Portia and her fan and... Kenya trying to pimp out this uh baby protective headgear. Okay. Nine times out of ten, there ain't nothing but some foam up in there. And there ain't no sturdy foam that she got on Miss Brooklyn's head. Okay. That's just bad parenting 101. And a person that sit there wants to buy in and everything. Ma take her credit card. If she bought this on her own, her own set of values and rules and circumstances that she wanted to make sure Brooklyn has no incidents with her head. Forget about the rest of her body. You know what I'm saying? You're only going to protect the head. You ain't going to put her in a full body cast to protect her from all the elements that she may bump into. Kenya, 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 and Mark, I'm looking at you too, sideways. I am looking at you sideways too because having a baby and letting a baby naturally grow in their natural environment is something like the beginning of time, okay? Nothing needs to be changed with that. People going to come out with a lot of different products to sucker the consumer in, to buy their products, but are they really sturdy? Are you looking at their hearing being protected when you put all this stuff on their heads? Are you looking at their environment? Are you doing your due diligence by baby proofing your house, not baby proofing your child? It's enough they have to be strapped down when they have to go and get in the car and they have to be suited and fitted for baby seats and this kind of thing, okay? God forbid if you have to get out that car quick enough. We have to get out our safety seats. And I'm telling you, and some of them old cars, them safety seats can be not, they be failing. Because you be trying to rush and trying to get out and they be still locking you in. Okay? It's a double-edged sword. It can work against you. It can work for you. But I'm just talking about this little mess. Kenya Moore has definitely signed on. Signed on to having a baby protective hat. Now I'm like, Kenya, if you're going to come out, if you're going to come out full force, you should have let your baby wear the full protective one. Okay. That costs some money because they range from somewhere from $100 to the bare minimum, probably $7.99. Okay. And it seemed like Kenya got the uh, $10 special on her baby girl's head. Now, the only thing I'm going to say about this, Kenya, did you invest? But you, you become a sponsor of somebody that makes these products. And norm, normally you probably got it for free. And maybe many other baby products that you're going to bring out and try to tempt the consumer to buy. Because you got so many people that follow you that will uh, that you lead blindly. Okay, into submission that you're doing everything good, great. and But I'm here to tell you. Your mama won't tell you, but I'm old enough to be your mama. Okay. I think I am. I'm 51, so I, I don't know what Kenya is. Really don't care. It's not even really relevant. But you're trying to say the women who've had babies before you were doing a bad thing. Your grandmother, her grandmother before her, generations past. They didn't have all this stuff, okay? Now I understand. As we got older, fan, you know, finally she got fans and stuff. But it's called uh, baby proofing your house, not baby proofing your child so that comes into another whole parameter of you not watching your kid you see what i'm saying you got to worry about seeds 
You got to worry about uh, your child climbing up stairs and a lot of other things. And if you don't know, I'm going to give you a hint. Pick up a book, Google, put in baby proofing ideas, have a consultant come out, baby proof your house. You don't have to baby proof the baby, okay? I'm like, when I saw that, first I fell out laughing, like, what in the hell this girl got on her head, okay? And I thought about you. I said, okay, she didn't have a mother, but she had a grandmother. You know what I'm saying? A grandmother who definitely seemed like she loved her, paid attention to her, and did not dress her in this fashion. Because I don't even think they were out. These baby proofing ideas for the head. Now, I can understand. Now, if the baby is having seizures and stuff of that nature, then yes, they have safety helmets for seizures. And they're definitely well insulated and well constructed. I mean, if your baby go flapping like a fish and she got her safe or he got his safety helmet on, the seizure self safety helmet, then it's going to be little or no damage. Okay? Because that's very well constructed. Now, I can see you, you putting that on her head, and maybe she don't suffer from seizures. But that would have been a better accountant than this little foam piece of wrap, like she's at a spa somewhere trying to call herself baby-proofing the baby. Now, you need to baby-proof your house from top to bottom. Because even if, just looking at that little flimsy thing, what if she fell head first? Can you? What about her eyes? What about her nose, her cheeks, all that corfation is not ain't thinking she's gonna fall back you need to stop this mess and stop leading falsely leading your i ain't gonna say followers because you ain't like no holy person but people that really like you and admire you and and, and you know glad you're doing the darn thing okay but i'm like where's mar mar where are you when these decisions are being made about you all's baby, not Kenya's baby, okay? Not her miracle baby, but your baby. Where are your ideas and all of this? Because she just looked like a straight up clown, a cute, beautiful clown. Like she can model for the headgear or whatever. But mm -mm. no, ma'am, no, ma'am, no, ma'am. And in my video, I have expressed several baby proofing books or websites you can go to, Kenya. Yes, as well as a uh, cookie cutter type of devices you can use for your home. And I also put on this video places you can call that they will come out and help you baby proof your house, honey. Your car too, probably, but not your baby girl. Okay, she's supposed to be free. She's supposed to be loving her environment. If you have to replace some furniture... Uh, put some in storage and bring out the baby proof furniture, you know, the, the spongy kind, the little flimsy kind that if she falls on it, it just collapses, you know what I'm saying? But then you have to watch out there for smothering. So it, it goes back to the old adage of watching your child, doing your due diligence, make sure every eye is focused on her video cameras. I mean, I don't understand what you're doing that you can't watch her, okay? I'm saying, or get a nanny in there while you're doing your business adventures or um, uh, 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 trying to claim more avenues to making more money. You know, you're in business talks or whatever. Get somebody else to watch. Where's Mark at, okay? Because I'm sure he's not at the restaurant 24-7, Y'all need to do better. Y'all need y'all know better. Y'all are educated people. Y'all need to do better. Okay. But I'm just the only reason I came across this article, you know, Atlanta Black Star. I, I I'm signed up to them for some of their salacious stories. Some of them passed me by. But when you talking about the kids, you know what I'm saying? You gotta have kid protection even on their parents okay because the parents best be doing the most they just look at everything so cute everything so this that and you know i'm like can you you're failing me you're failing me and you're failing your people that look up to you by asking them to partake in this mess of a mess on this child's head there's not no constructiveness on this that a wrap she has around her head it's not sturdy I can see that just looking at it. I'm like, you need some protective. Now, I, I got some pictures in here for you. Now, them China, them Asian folk, they know how to hook up a baby helmet, a safety helmet. It almost looked like they toddlers or they're, um, or I guess you could say toddlers, and they out there trying to ride their tricycle and their bicycle, but it's it's hooked up for an infant. 
Now that they got the they got like a motorcycle hat. The old ones, not the ones that they be sitting on top of your head like a little tin hat. I ain't talking about them. Okay, God forbid anything happened to them when they were. I mean, I need everything. I, I need it all. I need like a football helmet if I'm going to try to have that much safety on my child inside of her house where she's supposed to be safe and sound. You know, give me the football helmet. All right. Because they even use those in tornado drills when they say go get something to protect your head. They, are, they, they express go get a, a, a football helmet. At least anything come flying in your face or whatever, you got that grill to protect you somewhat. Now, I ain't going to say it's going to protect good glass. A glass shower, it just goes there. Well, I don't think I said close your eyes. You know what I'm saying? But this mess, Kenya Moore got on Brooklyn's head. Mm -mm, that ain't going to work. And I'm throwing flag on plate all day, every day. I will be on YouTube dragging you every day until you act right with this baby. This baby that has to come here to be made a fool out of, girl, that's a hot mess on that child's head. Can you, you know better. You're educated. You're well-informed. And for you to pick up an option to say, I'm going to sponsor these people's products and I'm going to use my baby as a tell-all, you know, because she's a spokes baby for everything lovely and cute. No, we need safety involved. You need to start fooling these consumers uh, down a pathway that is uh, full of crap. Okay, full of crap. All right, but let's get to the story about the black star hair wrote out. They had some anxious people, honey. Kirsten Willis, you know that's my girl over at Atlanta Black Star. She be breaking it down. Okay, she be putting out all these salacious stories on these celebrities. Okay, because that's where I get my information from. Top blogging sites. Okay, people that definitely they don't want to put out nothing that's not true because they'll get sued. Okay. So I'm just giving you my opinion of what I read on a reputable website, okay, that does entertainment news, okay, celebrity news. And Kenya fits the profile. She's part of that ranking. Um, you know, she's been exposed to both the acting side of Hollywood as well as the reality side of TV, okay? So just putting it out there for you. The title reads, Leave Her the F Alone After Kenya Moore Gets Heat for Putting Protective Hat on Nine-Month-Old Daughters. Fans Take Up for Real Housewives of Atlanta. That's the that's the, the, the piece de resistance. That is the Academy Award winning article title that Miss Kirsten Willis from Atlanta Black Star brought out to us for us to partake let it sit in our memory banks and let us gravitate to what we feel is the real tea in this story. Now, like I said, from point blank, giving it to you before I even told you where I got the story from. Kenya is pimping out her daughter and she's making profit. And I hope she is getting a college fund up for this child, okay, and putting all these proceeds in her account since she is pimping out her daughter for fame, fortune, and prosperity, okay? You know, because she got good looks. She could be a model, honey. Yes, she can. Just got to watch her weight here and there. But she could be a model. She got the facial expressions, all right? Got the body type. She should be putting her up in Gerber products. That's where you should be, Kenya, okay? But you just doing in and everything. Or, or, or making up your own products to put on your child and put something safe out there. Because what's on baby girl head? That's just like a towel, a thick terry cloth towel you done stuck on her head. And you want people to believe and buy into that safe. That ain't safe, Kenya. That ain't safe. Do better, Kenya. Do better. But anyway. Uh, it goes on to say, a photo of Kenya Moore's adorable baby girl wearing a new accessory. Unexpected excuse me, unexpectedly drew criticisms from fans on Sunday. So this story, uh, it was brought out today, but somehow we missed it or they missed it and just had to get the facts right. You know, they got to fact check stuff right here. So can't put everything out because then, yeah, can you be trying to sue folks and this, that, and the first. But she's using, like I said, a baby girl for an opportunity to make money. I bet you she's one of their spokespersons for their product. Anybody who wants to do their homework, go ahead and try to check that out. But I bet you her name is signed on some contract to uh, spread the word about this particular person's product and where they can get it. Now, see, if anything happened to that child, uh, children that are children's parents that are following you, Kenya, on this little uh, advertisement you're doing, sponsoring this particular headgear for this company, girl, they're going to come after you. 
Like it ain't nobody's business. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's going to come back on you because they're saying, well, you put the product out there. You endorse the product. So, girl, you should know better. Again, you should know better, Kenya. And then you should be making Kenya Moore's uh, featuring baby Brooklyn's headgear. You're doing yourself a dissatisfaction. I'm, girl, I, I'm, I'm disappointed in you, Kenya. I'm disappointed right now, okay? need you to pull up because right now you're in crash position with me. Okay, but going back to the article, it says the star of Bravo's The Real Housewives of Atlanta. See, you see what I'm saying? You see how The Real Housewives of Atlanta, that family household name, is giving these ladies opportunity? But they say it ain't, it ain't that. It ain't that. But they yet. Every article keep blasting them out there as, yes, that's your platform. That's why you're getting all these opportunities, okay? But that's just my sidebar. Moving back on. It says the star of Bravo's The Real Housewives of Atlanta took nine-month-old Brooklyn Doors Daily to her hometown of Detroit over the weekend to visit family. One photo more shared of the trip saw a smiling Brooklyn wearing a cushion hat meant to protect her infant's head. See, I told y'all, I hadn't even read the story yet. I just saw the headlines. I was like, that damn Kenya, she just doing too much, okay? Ain't no plastic in there. Ain't no hardware in there. It said cushion. Now, anybody know, you could sit on a pillow. That's cushion. How they gonna protect your child head if she go face forward into some glass? And you know, we like glass furniture. You know, we like that arts got the edge on it and stuff where, you know, any child can just, you know, prop their head up against or fall back for whatever reason. Then you got a prop. You see what I'm saying? That's why they said baby proof your house. Take out the furniture that is deemed dangerous. Even hell for adults if they get a little tipsy. You know what I'm saying? Take that stuff out. Put it in storage. Sell it. Get some baby proof furniture. Okay? Whew, Kenya. Kenya. Kenya more. Okay, and then it shows the uh, protective cushion phone, and that's bothering me. What in the heck she got in her hand? It looks like one of those little air freshener things or a little um, apparel furniture things you put in like a little basket, and it just, uh, this just for decoration, you know what I'm saying? It gives you that rustic look on the outside. What the hell she got that in her hand for? See, that's what I'm saying, Kenya. You're showing too much on social media and pictures, and it's going to come back to hunt you. What if she put that in her mouth? That ain't no baby toy. That ain't something she's supposed to be playing with. Girl, you're doing too much, Kenya. You're doing too much and showing too much as well. Get off social media, Kenya. Better yet, you stay on social media. Get baby Brooklyn off social media, okay? You're becoming to be a hazard. All right, a hazard. But anyway, going back to the story, it says, I'm having a great time in Detroit with my family. What's in my head? Well, you have to ask my mommy. Since I'm crawling like crazy, she doesn't want me to hurt my head. I think it looks cute. As you can see, I'm smiling. Baby Brooklyn, Miracle Baby, those are her hashtags, more. Who runs the account? Wrote in Brooklyn's voice in captions of the August 18th photo. Fans found the image adorable. However, a few critics criticized the star for appearing to be overly cautious about the baby's crawling escapades. Yes, like I said, Kenya ain't never had no baby before. But Kenya, you have uh, uh, family members. You have cousins. You have cousins that don't have cousins. You don't have friends that had friends that had babies on top of babies. On ba this is nothing new. The baby making thing is nothing new, Kenya. It's new to you, but it's nothing new. Do your research, girl. Do your research and stop acting like you don't have a clue. Just like you sat up there one day and took your baby and thought you were going to breastfeed inside of a restaurant. Now, come on, Kenya. I haven't, my baby's 28 years old, okay? Now, I knew way back then that I could not do that. That was seemed to be like frowned upon. And plus, I wouldn't want to take out my big jugglers and, and flop them out and, and have my baby breastfeed. Anyway, that's a private setting. That's a private moment. Okay, and ain't nothing private about being in a restaurant trying to do that type of behavior. I mean, Ken, you're doing too much. You're doing too much for the uh, social media, all right? Anyway, moving on. It says, many fans found the image adorable while other people criticized. And I'm one of the critics, Kenya, because you're doing too much. I can see if you didn't have the knowledge, the intelligence to investigate certain things, okay, prior to going on into it blindly and, and taking part of it. You, you, you No, Kenya, you got common sense. You got street sense. 
You got book sense. And you ain't using none, not neither, not, not now three of them. Neither one of them can you. You just threw it, caution to win. I'm going to do what I want to do. And I'm going to do this. Okay. That ain't right, can you? That ain't right. Okay, moving on. Somebody else said, is this... What we are doing now, I'm I'm trying to figure that one out myself, too. I'm like, when did Kenya become the author of doing the baby raising and protecting? Uh, when did she write the book, uh, wrote a thesis, did research on this? No, she didn't. But she calls herself the social media queen. And she has many followers that are going to follow her, follow her right off a cliff. Okay, pretty much. Die hard fans knowing she wrong instead of getting her together collectively and crit and, and cr critically with great criticism. Okay, I ain't saying bash her in and all like that, but just you know, she know better, she need to do better. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Uh, another critic said, First, the knee pads now bumper for her head. Kenya is spending a lot of time on Amazon, and I keep telling what where's where is more? Where's more? Okay. Is he an absentee father at this time? Because if he's absentee now, what is he going to be when she becomes a toddler? When she becomes uh, the age of puberty, 10, 11, 12, 13, when she needs her father advice. Definitely get some advice about boys. Where is he going to be in her high school years or college years? If he's being absent now with all this foolishness going on, because you need to tell Kenya, put that, put that camera down. Put that camera down down on her phone let's just have some private moments let's just grow up incognito and let them see her each year of her growth she don't need to be on social media every day of every hour of the day okay that's what he need to be saying all right <sighs> put some hair on your chest ma become the father you're supposed to be for baby brooklyn all right i need to hear more from you all right i really do i need to see you more with her like daddy dad care, uh, talk, talk over that daddy daddy daycare. I need you to be like him. All right, but then moving on, D take Kenya credit card if you can too, because she's spending too much. If she's paying for this out of pocket and she's not sponsoring somebody or, or uh, she's letting somebody use her platform to sponsor their products through her, and she's actually paying for this stuff, take her credit card. Take it, cut it up, and tell her no way, no way. You you just too obsessed with all these baby ideas and and, and figma jiggies, okay? Cause they they make everything. And another thing I hate is when the parents or uh, I'm saying the mommies, they go and put these mittens when they're first born on their baby hands. Like, let's use common sense here. If the baby was swimming around in all your fluids when they were housed inside of you, growing, changing, moving around, doing it on thing, they didn't have mittens. Okay, they didn't have mess. They had their little hands. They were sucking on them. They were doing whatever they felt like they wanted to do do with the hands. Don't shield their hands when they come out and they be looking for their, their familiarity. They want to feel their hands. Okay, each little finger. Okay, and toes if they can play with them as well. They don't need that type of protective. What you need to do, mothers, is trim your baby's fingernails. Okay, clip your baby's fingernails. That's why we give y'all those tools as presents, okay? Accessories to use. Ooh, I hate them. Ooh, when I see them, I just be want to snatch them off the baby and just put the mitts in, in, in the parent's mouth, okay? Because that's how I really feel about it. I feel very, very strong about that, okay? The baby's just trying to be out in a new environment and you try to take the very thing that they had inside the womb. Their fingers. Trying to hide them. Protect them. No. Do the right thing. Put the cut the baby's uh fingernails when they get too long okay it's just something you're gonna have to do parents it's just something you have to do just like you have to face that day when they have to get those those shots those needles going into the skin okay you're gonna be very upset about that too it's gonna hurt you more than it hurt the baby all right but it's something you have to deal with it parents done done it since the beginning of vaccinations okay whenever they came out and they forced it on us okay all right moving back on okay it says but amid the detractors there were many more people who raced to defend more choice last time i checked brooklyn is kenya's baby she should be allowed to raise and care for her baby as she sees fit her baby is being protected what's so bad about that now i can say to those critics who said that ain't nothing wrong with that, it really isn't. But when you push your, your baby stuff and your actions that you're doing with your babies 
on front street, you're putting it on social media, that means you're opening up the door to criticism. And half the time with this little mess on that baby girl head, that was some good shit. Yes, you're going to get flagged. Flag, flag, flag. And I'm going to put flag on the plate, flag on the plate. And I'm going to tell you how I feel about it. Now, she didn't want nobody to come at her sideways or whatever. She shouldn't have put it on social media. Because we didn't have phones back in the day. You couldn't put everything on social media. Everything you do from the time you get up to the time you go to bed. Some folk got it on social media. That's a travesty. That's a, that's a travesty. Okay, you open up yourself for a lot of different things. A lot of different things. And they ain't all good. Okay, going back to the article, it said... It's her first baby. She's a miracle baby. Kenya did not have it easy like most. So if she's being overprotective, leave her the F alone. And show your judgmental comments. Uh, shove your judgmental comments up your behind. I hate when none else factors come on other people's pages trying to tell someone how to be a mother. Uh, FTF. Are you? And see, I'm on my own platform, okay? Housing my own opinion, giving it out to the masses, whoever want to partake of it. But I know this video, I'm going to have some haters come in saying, I should be saying this, I should be saying that. And I'm going to tell you to go look at my video where I said I'm a commenter. I am a commentator, okay? I have opinions and I choose to express them. If I can't, you know, let that somebody else listen to me, instead of me talking to myself, I come on my platform. So, I don't want y'all to come think I'm going to answer y'all. When y'all be coming at me sideways, I should be talking about Kenya this way. I should, well, she shouldn't put it on social media. That's all I'm going to say. Because I never would have known. I ain't living with her. I damn sure ain't trying to follow her stock or anything like that. But when she posts stuff out of her own accord without checking with her husband on some of the things that she do on social media, hey, we going to speak on it. That's just how, see, there we go. Candy probably speak on it too. She probably just don't put it up there. But she be in her circle of friends. Y'all know y'all be talking about it too. Y'all just don't want to come on with your own YouTube channel and put it out there. Okay? And give your own opinion. See, I'm doing it just do. But other people, they just want to hide behind their keyboards and, and want to put everything up there and want to talk to you any kind of way. But you can't talk to other people any kind of way. Ain't that hypocrisy at its best? Ain't that the pot calling the kettle black? I tell y'all. But anyway, I know y'all coming. I know y'all coming. But, you know, like I said, I don't told you what direction to take. And we're going to keep it moving. Okay. Uh, Then we have um another comment saying that's right, Kenya. Protect the miracle baby. Well, I got a, a, you know, a little thing to say about these folks that we want to call people that have a hard time, you know, holding on to a baby when they're um, uh, carrying a baby. Every baby is a miracle baby because do you know the trials and tribulations you have to go through carrying a baby, how your body changes, how you change with that baby? Because you're sharing everything from your makeup, your DNA, everything, and you're re not getting it replenished half the time because you have to take supplements once the baby out or maybe during the pregnancy. So every baby is a miracle baby, okay? Every birth is a miracle birth because you can die giving birth. That's just like a surgery. So don't take anything lightly, you know, just because somebody's having uh, trouble trying to... Uh, hold on to a baby during pregnancy look at the pregnancy as it, as it is and what it's worth and what it's for that's a big deal when you're trying to carry another life in you okay so don't look at just you know somebody just really having trouble yes you know that's the misfortunes of you know how your body is made up and the things you do to your body at an early stage that prevents you from conceiving in the future but there's adoption there's other places but Having a baby is serious. So don't don't discard that from anybody. So anyway, moving on for now. I just had to make us feel on that because I hear it so much. I'm like, every woman that tries to carry a baby, they are miracles within themselves. Because they're producing life. Okay? Life. It's not something that's automatic. There's something automotive or robotic about it. No. These are cells. This is DNA. This is, you know, just a whole lot of fusion of chemistry going on. That's a miracle within itself, people. All right. 
But anyway, going back to the office, says more has opened up about the difficult journey to pregnancy in the past, admitting to using in vitro fertilization to start a family with her husband Mark Daly. Still, she said the actual process wasn't all that hard. Okay, so see, she downplaying herself. Like, oh, oh really? Okay, but y'all taking up full. Okay, all right. <sighs> Moving on from there, says the next commentator said, I don't have a horror story. She told People Magazine, it's weird because you hear other people's troubles with the injections and the hormones. And for me, it was a pretty simple process, okay? So, see, she's downgrading people that have went through this process. That's why I said, you know, y'all be taking, y'all be doing too much for y'all people. Y'all be trying to uphold when they be saying sly, sly stuff and, and slick stuff. Because, you know, just because she didn't have the experience don't make the experience less uh, traumatic for somebody else. And, like, you discounting what they feel. See? You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you be small, but yet dumb in the same breath. Okay? Going back on to the article said, but once she did conceive, more was not out of the woods. Being 47 years old, made her pre pregnancy high risk. And after suffering pregnancy complications like preeclampsia, the reality star was forced to deliver her baby several weeks early preclampsia is just another form of saying high blood pressure okay for those who didn't know um uh, an emergency cesarean section ensued in which more said she lost so much blood the doctors were so scared that they were going to lose me and after a three-hour procedure that is usually over in 30 or so minutes brooklyn doors arrived on november 4 2008 okay now i've heard some people say some of these stars, they get cesareans because they don't want all the stretch marks and then they can get a good tummy tuck. You know what I'm saying? So they can bounce back real nice when they have them. And I've, I've heard people uh, when I was pregnant with my daughter that wanted to go that route. It wasn't anything that they couldn't have the child through uh, natural uh, vaginal birth. It's just they chose to and their doctor said, okay, well, we can do that if you want to. And then give you your tummy tuck and you'll be straight. Just don't try to have no more babies, you know, right out because you'll be, in a sense, damaging it uh, and paying for something that re you really didn't get no use out of. So I see a lot of stars. I ain't saying that's happening with Kay. I'm just, just pointing out what I did here just to give y'all another perspective on looking at this stuff. Everything people say to you ain't, go uh, it ain't the truth, okay? It ain't golden. They hide the fact. So you got to wonder how these people bounce back at that age. No, they getting help to do that. They can lie to y'all. They want to. So all my battles just snap back. All the ones that I know that snap back is these ones that's having babies in their teens, okay? They snap really bad, okay? They have no problem with nothing. It's just like they, whoop, there it is, mm, okay? But that's all I have for this story. I kind of tarried a little too long on it, but it kind of upset me in little points and views of what Kenya Moore was doing. Like I said, it's just my opinion. I don't know if the girl, a lady, or, or, or informative person that's trying to sponsor and get money is all about. Cause like I said, I ain't hear too much from uh, Mark Daly. I mean, I know a lot of fathers out there, they have their two cents in, and they say what well, they baby going to look like and what you ain't going to have on their baby and all this. But I don't hear nothing from all. I don't hear nothing from all. And that's that, that's that that that's, that bothers me. But that's another video for another day. But I'm just saying, <clears throat> people who follow Kenya, do your own research. Don't buy into all these things that Kenya is out there doing and portraying and showing on her baby. It's all, you know, fun and games to her. But if you really want to do your due diligence as a new parent or a parent just in general, baby proof your house. Okay, don't baby proof your child. You know what I'm saying? You need to uh, take some furniture out and, and, and re-explore ways to keep your child. Hell, you safe too if you're a drinker. You know what I'm saying? You get a little tipsy here and there. You might fall off a sofa here too. You know what I'm saying? Keep everybody safe, okay? Don't be buying into all these uh, schemes and, and, and products that people just want to sell and don't necessarily have your child's intention or your intentions at the heart. They're just looking at that money aspect. That's where I came from. That's my side view of how I'm looking at it. I think he is just taking a lucrative idea, trying to use her baby as the model child for this product and sell it. And that's not fair, you know, uh, that she's doing that. If that, in fact, is the case, that's my spin on this story. That's how I'm looking at it. Because Lord knows she can do whatever she want to do. But when you're coming in trying to promote something that's flimsy and... Uh, 
you're kind of being the spokesperson of this product. That's crazy. They're like Portia Williams going around him, putting her daughter with a fan. Hell, if it's too hot, Portia, for the child to be out there and she need a fan, she don't need to be out there, okay? She don't need to be out there in the sun. You need to have her somewhere cool and where she's being comfortable because, no, we don't want the child over there getting overheated and you have to give her so many fluids to bring her... Uh, temperature down if she's kind of being hot and irritable because kids don't like hot weather uh-uh they don't like it they like everything cool everything got to be a little cool but that's my story that's my commentary for this particular topic i talked on today hopefully you all liked it y'all saw my um viewpoints and if it didn't Okay, it's just out there for you to gravitate to. You can take it for what it's worth, or you can spin it into your own narrative. I know you're going to do it anyway, okay? But I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.